Welcome aboard for another video. Thanks, Conductor Keith. The purpose of this video is to show you how I built this lift out bridge. I needed a quick and easy bridge to get my trains running. The tricky part of this bridge was that it was on a curve. I decided on a simple timber span. Now up in the Yukon where I used to live years and years ago and at other places in the world I have seen old timber, heavy, heavy timber spans. Out in British Columbia they used to cut logs that were 40 feet long and three by three if you can imagine it. Four by four even if I'm not mistaken in some of the old books I've seen because you know of the giant trees that were there. So this is a model of one of those old bridges made of timber and it only took me less than a day from start to finish to build this thing. Very easy. Follow along, might give you some ideas. The layout room here is not yet finished. The layout, of course, is just starting to come along, but we have a bridge now, and I'm very happy about that. And at the end of this video, there's gonna be a bit of a celebration about the opening of the bridge, and we're gonna run a train across it. I built the bench work all around the room and got to this point, and I realized, you know, I don't want just a simple duck under. I might wanna be able to take the piece out. Now, to bridge this. So I took out various sizes of wood to try as templates, and once I had it all figured out, I wrote down the dimensions I thought I needed. Step one. So this is screwed down, this is all screwed down, and that's screwed down. These are sliding pieces. So when it slides in, what locks it are these, right? So you take those off. Do a little twist. It comes. I needed a little more width, so I put those thin pieces you see in this picture along the sides. That was easy. Then I selected what pieces I would use for the side trusses. Then I drew the side trusses on one of them, as you can see in this picture. Then I clamped the two pieces together. Then I drilled down through so the jigsaw blade would fit and carefully cut out all of the trusses. By clamping the bridge together in two pieces, that meant I did both sides at the same time. Then I set it all up to see how well it works. And as you can see, Henry and Marge are there on the left, and they approve too. With these joiners on, I can hardly even move the bridge. So it's good and solid. Finally, with this lift out bridge, the layout really felt like it was coming along. So the next steps is I'm going to unscrew the track from it. I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to use a sander with various grades uh, uh, going from rough to fine. And I'm going to sand it all. Then I'm going to spray it with this matte black. Of course, you know, some people want to build a very fine scale thing and that's okay. This video is just about a quick and easy bridge. I could even replace it in the future with something better. Sanding is done to take off the rough edges. Bridges have guardrails in the center that come up the center and across the bridge in the center. Now this old aluminum rail that I have is easy to bend. So there's the approach. Of course, the, because the bridge comes out, I have to put these separately on the bridge. There's the approach to one end and this will be the approach to the other. Now using these brown top screws, I screwed that on there right to the ties. The screws aren't long enough to go past the ties. It's solid. And that's going to look good with some ballast on there coming up to here. All right, this approach is done and the fire and his dog thinks it's okay. So placing this one on a big curve is relatively simple. Once you have the right length, you don't have to bend it to exactly because as you lay down the screws, just like a real railroad, putting spikes down and bolts and stuff, you'll actually bend the track into the right shape. Again, this is aluminum rail, it's easy to bend. There we go, it's looking fairly good. And here the bridge is in place. It's allowed me to get up and running very quickly. Before anybody wonders, this is the naval ensign of the German Navy in World War I. I think I'm very pleased with that. So why don't we run some trains? I see the Friar is here and is now new favorite train watching location. While his pony sort of hangs out here eating the grass. For the inaugural run over the bridge, we have assembled at Rousel Station a short train led by my mammon Bolton is a radio controlled with sound number 1000 of the Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario. This locomotive I've named Castleman and a short train of passenger cars belonging to the Pencross Railway. 
Conductor Keith is here to make sure everything is on time. And the Friar is joined on the bridge today by Henry and Merge. And of course, Lord Michael is in attendance. He is the chairman of the railway. The great thing about this railway, the Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario, is that it's a small industrial loop. And so the train can go around and around as many times as it wants for the guests on board to enjoy the new bridge. And here's little Terry on the back of the train, waving as usual. Well, everybody concerned uh, feels that that was a very successful run. The bridge is a hit. Lord Michael is happy. That's all we can ask for. It'll be fun to dig out all my live steam locomotives and run them on this railway and across this bridge as well. So please stay tuned to my channel for much more.